make under any circumstances in order to create the life that you want. So listen, hop on over, check out my book, Top 25 Mistakes at Amazon, as well as uh, as well as on uh, LieutenantSalBlue.com. And that is the second edition, guys, that I'm talking about. And if you guys don't, aren't a reader, I also have the audio book on Audible. So if you have Audible.com, you can get that for free as well on Audible.com. So hop on over there to Audible. So let's get back to today's podcast, man. Um, me encanta, right? It means I love it in Spanish. And, uh, and that is what they say in Puerto Rico. I love it. And I want you guys to understand this, right? Your life, all the decisions that you make, all the circumstances that you place yourself in, this is the term that I need you to use at all times. Me encanta, right? I love it. I love it. Every circumstance that I'm in in my life. And you want to know why? It's because... Your circumstances that you are in your life are an accumulation of your choices that you have made, your habits that you have made, and you have placed yourself in that situation. Purposely, you did it. You did it purposely. Whether you purposely didn't work hard and study hard or do what you had to do, or whether it was an error of you following the wrong circle of influence. Either way... You made the decisions to place you in the situation that you are right now. So I want you guys to embrace that and love it, right? Whether it's painful, love it. Love the pain, take it in, right? Whether it's a joyous moment, take it in and enjoy the moment, right? Whether it's a difficult situation that you find yourself having to work hard through, enjoy it, love it, love the moment, take it in, man. Take it all in because these are decisions that you have to make each and every day. And you need to love your life no matter what. Every single moment. You know, I have so many people in law enforcement, right, that they hate their lives. Right? They've gone through full careers or halfway through their career or they're deep into their career. And they're so, so uh, financially and mentally invested in what they have done. And they don't love their lives. They don't love the situation that they're in. They don't love, okay, the choices that they've made, okay, that has gotten them to the point to where they are in their life, right? And they're struggling and fighting to love their life. They're struggling. And I I want them all to know that I'm here for you guys. I'm here for you. And you can talk to me, call me at any time, shoot me an email, hop on a Facebook group, whatever you guys want to do, I'm here. For you guys who are in the struggle, because I will help you to walk out through that struggle because there's light at the other end. I will definitely help you as I've helped many, many, literally thousands of officers to make it through that, that struggle of not loving your life and where you're at right now. You know, it is one day at a time and it's one step at a time and I will help you guys through that. But... Let's get in even deeper, guys, as I talk about loving your life. Uh, one of the things that I, I, I come against is um, people who I try to help them achieve the life that they want as far as the goals and, and other things that they want to achieve. It's their belief, right? And my question to you is this, right? How do you move ahead, right? Move ahead in life, in your goal, and whatever you want to do. How do you move ahead? When you don't have belief in yourself, what do you do? How do you do it? How do you overcome not having belief in yourself? Yeah, listen, guys, this is a hard thing to consume mentally, right? You don't have a belief in yourself, but you want something really bad. You want something really bad that you want maybe for your family or for your children, you know, or, or, or for your for your siblings, something that you want to do, or even for yourself, guys, something that you want for yourself so bad, but you don't believe that you can achieve it. You don't believe that you can get to that level. You don't believe it, right? You don't believe it, and and a lot of people, what do they do at that point in time? If they don't believe it, they just don't act on it, man. They just don't do anything. They just say, okay, this is not for me. This is not something that I can achieve. And, and, and que sera, sera, this is my life, right? 
I'm telling you guys that that is not the step you need to take. That is not the step you need to take. Um, most of the time, right, it is not you having knowledge of how to do it. It's you knowing who has done it, right? I, I say this all the time. Why fill your brain with a bunch of, of how to do this and how to do that when you can literally, okay, literally connect with the right people and they could just show you how to do it step by step, walk you through it. You know, walk you through the steps to achieve what you want to achieve. And there's somebody out there to achieve every goal that anybody has ever wanted because there are very few things on this planet in life that are original thoughts that nobody has never thought of, that nobody has never achieved before. Because that's how we are. We're, we're pack animals, man. We, we like to ch achieve some of the things that other people achieve and some of the things in life that, w that we uh, feel or are best for us or something that, that we've seen other people have and they seem happy you know and that is why I always tell people me and Kanta right love it love your life no matter how it is or whatever situations you are in you have to take it in and you have to absorb it because if you don't what you begin to do is you're about you'll start to see other people's lives and how they're living and you will start to feel like you are lacking something in your life. And I just want to tell you guys, everybody is lacking something. Everybody is lacking something, right? Um, this person's life, no matter what they have, is no better than your life and what you have. So when you start to think in and wants of what somebody else has and, and start to not appreciate what you have, no matter how small it is, that is when you become uh, sad, depressed, miserable, and you start to lose focus on what you need to do to achieve the life that you want. So let's get back into the question of what I was talking about. How do you move ahead when you don't have belief in yourself, right? You don't um, base your actions on your belief. That is what you don't do, right? You don't base your actions. None of your actions when you're doing life, when you're trying to create the life that you want, you can't base it on your beliefs, right? Not having belief, but knowing the path and doing it anyway. That is what I tell people, right? You don't have to have the belief, but you have connected with somebody who already knows the path and they have shown you the way. So despite your belief in yourself, you do it anyway. You know, um, a lot of times when I'm trying to uh, achieve a goal, when I was writing a book, I didn't know how to write a book, right? But I just went ahead and I started just doing the action. Every day writing, every day writing, and then doing some reading as well to see how other people were doing it. And, and once I began to continually write, which was the action, and continually read, which was the... Uh, learning who was uh, what had the type of style that I wanted to write. Um, once I began to do that, um, not having belief in myself no longer mattered. It no longer mattered, man. Here's the deal. My, my first version of Top 25 Mistakes was a mishmash of all of the ideas that I had thrown up in a page. You know, and so shortly after that, you know, I just continued to write, continued to write, and I came up with the second edition, and it looks a whole lot better than the first edition, guys, and it still has needs tons of work, right? I'm not no uh, uh, Tom Clancy author or nothing like that, uh, or Patterson, uh, or whatever those uh, authors are, but what I'm doing is I'm constantly putting in the work of writing, of, of, of learning more, of doing more, and making the effort, right? Despite my belief, right? in myself. I don't need to believe. It is the reps and sets continually over and over again that allow you to create a belief in yourself of what you're doing. You start to believe in yourself when you start to see results. That's really how it works, guys. Um, belief doesn't come from you not, not having an action. Belief comes after, after you start to see results. And so a lot of people don't understand that, so they don't put in the effort 